we're going to a tiny home in Chilliwack. This is my first solo cabin tiny home trip in two, three years. I'm so excited. Sometimes you just need time away from everyone and everything in your life to slow down and process your thoughts. Three years ago, I went on my very first Think Week and weekend. And I came back with a new perspective, clearer vision and happier mindset. I entered my Think Weekend overwhelmed, lost, and in many ways broken, but I came out feeling more in touch with my inner self. I processed a lot of problems and took the time to understand myself and my needs. A few months later, I started my YouTube channel and even moved out on my own. Years ago, I heard about Bill Gates' Think Week. Think Week is when he goes into the woods for two weeks each year to just think of new ideas without any distractions. On a smaller scale, and for different reasons, I was inspired to do a Think Weekend myself. Except my Think Weekends are to process my thoughts, my overthinking crazy brain without any distractions so I can come back feeling refreshed and a lot lighter. Sometimes you just need time away from everything, everyone, every problem in your life. So here I am, back at this tiny home, back to my safe space to reflect and think about everything that has happened since the last time I was here. We have arrived! I am so excited to stay the night here. The last time I was here, I just journaled and listened to my audiobook, watched the sunset. It was so beautiful. I feel like everyone needs one day a year at least to just get away from all of their problems and spend time by themselves to reflect or get a new perspective, process your thoughts. And lately I've been really overwhelmed. I feel like there's so much going on that I haven't had time for myself. Back in the city, it's like, go, 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 what's next? I have work, I have this, I have that. To book a tiny home, even for one night, the peace, the quiet, the slowness just gives you necessary time for yourself. Let's unpack! They have a washroom. Oh my god, can you tell I'm like, I really need to be? <laughs> okay, put it back. They have a working washroom. When I booked this, it was still a porter potty because they were still building this, but I just washed Ugh, the little things in life. I don't think they quite have water yet though, but there's enough to wash my hands. I know I might seem kind of crazy to be packing like a suitcase for one night, but hear me out. I never get the chance to really play with my gear unless I'm actually filming. So I took advantage of this trip to pack my camera gear. So this is my clothes, literally like a small bag. And then my journals, everything that I want to do today. And over here is all of my camera gear that I really, really, really want to play around with. Look at this. Back with frozen dinner number two. 
I used to grow up and eat this all the time and it's very nostalgic to be eating this again <laughs> I did a little bit of journaling I was reflecting and I wasn't always this person who loves being alone at all I was always trying to make friends and then I would be that person who jump from groups of friends because I was afraid of the judgment they might have judged me if I said something odd instead of wait for someone to unfriend me I would just pull myself away from that person or that group until I, f I felt like enough time has passed for me to return and then it'll happen again I think I was more scared that people would end up hating who I am the more they get to know me sometimes the things you say to yourself is way worse than what someone else might think of you if you let yourself believe it and if you let yourself sit with it for too long it'll really get to you if you let your problems sit with you and you don't share with anyone and get perspective <laughs> it'll be really hard to shake off we all can check up on our friends a hundred times more as much as I talk about being alone going on this trip Sometimes people don't have the energy to get out of bed or they, they don't want to be alone because they're they feel so alone already You just need to be there and remind them with a text send them stupid things funny things because you never know when they're down But if they receive that message from you It could change and just because someone says they're okay. It doesn't mean they're okay spam them spam anyone You know is having a hard time like spam them right now Freaking message your friends right now and just be like I fucking love you don't you forget that plan things have things for them to look forward to show them that yeah life sucks there's shit going on there's shit happening all the time but like you do have a safe space you do have a happy place to everyone in my life whether you're part of my past present or future thank you for being my happy place and my safe place at one time so or another without you I, I wouldn't be who I am right and where I am today I may not have realized it then, but I do realize it now that you all made a huge impact in my life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Thank you for being you. They're mooing at me. I think I need to go over there. Hi. There's so many cows. They're so cute. They just like saw me and then started coming over. This is so cute. This trip is a little different. I originally booked this because my mind was so scrambled. But this time I just feel like I didn't really care to journal. All the problems that I thought were needed to be addressed on this trip is just so small. The day before I arrived here, we had a celebration of life. I just feel like any problem that I have is so minor at this moment. Take care of the people around you. Check up on them, not just once, not just twice, constantly check up on them. And if they tell you that they're feeling really, really down, bombard them <laughs> with text messages, phone calls. Even if they don't respond, just keep sending them. They're reading it, they're, they see it. Just get them out of the mindset. Remind them you have all of these issues, but hey, just look at this one hour of fun that we have or this one phone call where you're laughing your ass off or crying and releasing. We often forget to do that and you should.
And for anyone who's going through a very hard time right now, just know that you will get through it. It doesn't feel like it right now, but you will. Talk about it, share it. Like, I feel so wrong, like, giving advice. In hindsight, it, it's so obvious, but like, for someone in the moment, like, like, they might not even, they can't even see. Because in the moment of like, just pure darkness, like, you don't know what to do. That's all you're focused on. This is just a reminder for everyone to check up on your friends because sometimes it's just that one message or that one phone call. Just because they say they're okay, it can switch so freaking quick. It comes in waves. Plan things, show them how loved they are. Just constantly, constantly check up on your friends. Like, follow, subscribe, explore the lead, right?